taking advantage of Google's advanced operators. In the digital age, where information is abundant, refining your online searches is crucial for obtaining precise and relevant results. Google's advanced search operators are specialized commands or symbols that can be added to your search queries to refine and enhance the search results. These operators provide you with a higher level control over what Google finds in its vast database. They can be used to specify particular websites, file types, date ranges, or even to exclude certain terms from your results. In this video, we'll explore a variety of the advanced search operators available to you and gain an understanding of how to use them. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to conduct more precise and effective searches, enabling you to uncover the information you need with greater accuracy and efficiency. Boolean operators, or, not, and. Google uses three basic Boolean operators, or, not, and and, to help you refine your search queries and obtain more specific or broad results. When you use the or operator between keywords or phrases, Google will retrieve pages that contain at least one of the specified terms. It broadens your search. For example, searching for cats or dogs will return results that include either cats or dogs or both. The not operator excludes specific terms from your search results. When you use it before a term, Google will return results that do not contain that term. For example, searching for apple, not fruit, will show results related to the company apple, but exclude results about the fruit. When you use the and operator between keywords or phrases, Google will retrieve pages that contain all of the specified terms. It narrows your search, ensuring that all the specified terms are present on the page. For example, searching for coffee and beans will return results that include both coffee and beans. These operators can be used in combination to create more complex search queries. For instance, marketing and Facebook or Instagram, not Twitter, would find results containing marketing, as well as either Facebook or Instagram, but exclude any that mention Twitter. Understanding and using these operators effectively can help you tailor your search results to better match your information needs. Quotation marks. The quotation marks are used to indicate an exact phrase. When you enclose a group of words or a phrase within quotation marks, you tell Google to search for that exact sequence of words in the specified order, rather than treating each word as a separate keyword. For example, if you search for climate change effects within quotation marks, Google will return results that contain the exact phrase climate change effects. This can help you find pages that discuss the specific phrase or topic you're interested in, rather than pages that contain the individual words for climate, change, and effects scattered throughout the text. Dash slash minus. The minus operator, minus sign, is used to exclude specific terms or keywords from your search results. It can be used similarly to the not operator. By adding a minus sign before a word, you tell Google to omit the pages that contain that word. This can be useful when you want to narrow your search results by excluding irrelevant information. For example, if you're searching for information about Apple the company, but you want to exclude results related to the fruit, you can use apple minus sign fruit as your search query. Google will then return results that pertain to the company Apple while excluding any pages that mention the word Apple in the context of the fruit. Site colon. To search a specific site or domain, use the site colon command. For example, search only Canadian government websites by using site colon gov .ca, or only colleges and universities by using site colon edu. If you want to find a site's content about a specific topic, follow the site command with a search term attached. This is called a site search. For example, to find more information about research on the learning portal, you could search site colon tlp .lpa .ca research. File type. The file type colon operator is used to specify a particular file type that you want to search for. By using this operator, you can restrict your search to specific types of files, such as documents, presentations, spreadsheets, or PDFs. For example, if you want to find PDF documents related to climate change, you can use file type colon PDF climate change as your search query. Google will then return results that include PDF files specifically related to the topic of climate change. This operator can be handy for academic research or when you're looking for downloadable resources in a particular file format. In-text colon 
and all in text colon. The in text colon and all in text colon operators in Google Search are used to refine search results based on the presence of specific keywords within the main text or body content of web pages, rather than just the title or URL. These operators are helpful when you want to find pages that discuss a particular topic in depth or where keywords that specifically match your query are a significant part of the page's content. When you use the in text colon operator in your search query, followed by a keyword or phrase, for example, in text colon technology, Google will return results where the specified keyword or phrase appears within the main textual content or body of the web pages. The all in text colon operator allows you to search for web pages where all the specified keywords following all in text colon appear within the main text or body content of those pages. For example, all in text colon latest technology news will return results where the main content contains all three words latest technology and news. In title colon and all in title colon. The in title colon and all in title colon operators in Google search are used to refine search results based on the presence of specific keywords in the titles of web pages. These operators are particularly useful for narrowing down your search results when you're looking for web pages with titles that specifically match your query, ensuring that the content is highly relevant to your topic of interest. When you use the in title colon operator in your search query, followed by a keyword or phrase, for example, in title colon technology, Google will return results where the specified keyword or phrase appears in the title of the web pages. The all in title colon operator, on the other hand, allows you to search for web pages where all of the specified keywords following all in title colon appear in the titles of those pages. For example, all in title colon latest technology news will return results where the title contains all three words, latest technology and news. In URL colon. The in URL colon operator is used to specify that the search results should include web pages where the specified keywords or phrases appear in the URL of the web page. This operator is useful when you want to find pages where the keyword is part of the web address indicating that the page is likely to be closely related to that topic. For example, if you're looking for government websites discussing environmental regulations, you can use in URL colon environmental regulation to find pages with the term environmental regulations in their URLs. This can help you identify web pages that are more likely to be official government documents or resources related to your search query. Now that you have a deeper understanding of how Google uses these specialized commands and symbols to refine and customize the search results, you can manually incorporate these operators into your regular searches to tailor the results according to your specific needs. If you're looking to simplify this process, you can use Google Advanced Search. It is a dedicated website page or form provided by Google and can be accessed through the URL google.ca slash advanced underscore search or by clicking on the gear icon on the Google homepage and selecting Advanced Search. The Advanced Search is a form with various fields and drop-down menus where you can input your search terms and apply specific filters. Instead of manually typing advanced operators, you can select options from the form. Both are great options that cater to users seeking more refined and tailored search results. Incorporating Google's Advanced Search operators into your search strategy empowers you to take control of the information retrieval process. Whether you are a researcher, a student, or simply someone looking for specific information, mastering the use of Boolean operators, quotation marks, and other advanced techniques can help you tailor your searches to meet your specific needs, ultimately saving time and enhancing the quality of the information you discover.